Hi, that love clerk again, and I'm here to uh, talk to you guys about a magazine booklet that's free. Hopefully, uh, uh, don't get in trouble for sharing the uh, review of the magazine. So, uh, Fair Use Act, I'm claiming Fair Use Act or whatever. I don't have it printed up or whatever, but I'm gonna show the magazine anyway. And it says something. It says something in it about being uh, for public or for educational purposes. So I don't see why I'd get in trouble for sharing it. But here it is. It's called uh, Germany and the Holy Roman Empire. It's free absolutely free from the Philadelphia Church of God okay I don't buy into everything like I've said before that everyone says and nobody should uh, but this does have a lot of good uh, documentation in it and a lot of good information most a lot of people don't know and a lot of people want to deny a lot of people that love Germany and love the German people they won't be in denial about some of the facts in this book. Now I don't know everything, so I'm expecting other people to comment, come back with something intellectual. And this is intellectual talk. This is not fight. You know, this ain't no argument. It's just real talk about uh, what's going to be reviewed in this book. Okay, in this magazine is very beautiful magazine okay move this wild animal one out of the way the kids play with that one okay and as you can see it says inside germany in the holy roman empire okay and then the first page right here it says uh, this booklet is not to be sold it is a free educational service in the public interest published by the Philadelphia Church of God. So, it's not to be sold. See, on the cover of Charlemagne. Uh, scriptures in this publication are quoted from the King James Version unless otherwise noted. Okay. Philadelphia Church of God, all rights reserved. See all this stuff. Okay. Here's the first page. Pretty cool looking. The resurgence of Nazi Germany. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people that are complete opposite of uh, the way this book is going, the way this magazine is going to portray uh, Germany. But th that's how it happens sometimes. you got to find the facts sometimes in other areas where you don't, where you don't think they're going to be at, okay, where you, where you want to be in denial at. So, this is a really badass, a lot of badass stuff in here, okay, about... Nazi Germany, and, you know, when I was younger, I liked a lot of the, I really just liked the, the, uh, the coolness of their, their outfits and stuff, you know, the way they ran and the way they operated and why they were doing the things they were doing. They were against the system of the world in a way, you know, and, uh, why well, wouldn't a white boy like this kind of stuff? It, it, it enthralled white boy white boys across America that were normal because you know when you're a teenage white kid a lot of times you you do get through a phase where you know this is cool to you but I I still like and admire a lot of the, the uh, design on the the clothes and just the way everything looks it's cool I think it's cool I don't care what other people think you know oh well you know there's two sides to every story so we're going to review this magazine, and we're going to do it in parts, so I thought I'd show you the first couple pages, and then in the next uh, upload, I'll read the first page, introduction, and hopefully you guys will follow along, even if you disagree, because this is where I want you to help out and say where you disagree at, okay? In an intelligent way, this isn't, I don't want to have a fight. Let's have a nice debate or a, let's a di discussion, you know, human, okay? So, if you want to follow along, check out this magazine.
It's actually free. You can order it yourself and get it and read it yourself. But I want to review it because I like reviewing and not everyone can read. And I like sharing. I like sharing the pieces of truth that I can find. Okay. And when churches are offering free, absolutely free stuff, okay, completely free, no charge, a full magazine, stuff like that, okay, there, here's all the numbers list, it's all free, it's all free, see, how many churches are offering free things like that, not very many really, not very many. And I'm not trying to say they're perfect, but gosh, you know, I mean, if there are, their information's pretty good, they got good documentation, and they're offering the stuff free. They don't charge. I admire that, and they also have a lot of valid information, so I admire that too. Uh, you know, like I said, you don't have to buy everything. By meaning you don't have to believe everything that they teach, but there's so much here you'd be a fool not to want to uh, at least uh, check it out, and it's free, so it's pretty cool. I like it, and it's got a lot of good stuff. And people, you know, give it a chance. Uh, National Socialist or whoever, or uh, those types of people, they th this book it might be geared against. It seems like, but you're still going to learn so much. I mean, there is a lot of truth in here. Uh, if there's something false in it, let me know. I want to know, okay? So, uh, this is at Love Clark. Let me know what you think uh, as we go through this. And uh, order it yourself if you want to. It's, it's free, man, you know? It's cool. Nothing's free. That, you know, how much, how much churches offer free stuff? I'm not trying to push the church. I'm trying to push the idea that you know, get the free stuff, man. It's free information. It's pretty good. A lot of it's good. I'm not saying it's all true, or I'm not saying it's all correct, but I will say a big portion of it is a lot more than what you're going to get from your average church of truth. Okay? So this is At Love Clark, and we're going to review Germany and the Holy Roman Empire and also the origins of Germany. Who are German? What is Germany? Who is Germany? Where did they come from? All that stuff is in the Bible. Okay? You gotta know how to figure that out and trace them. Okay? It's called Christian identity. And we're gonna learn about it. 